Well, great afternoon. Um, I just wanted to clarify this because I think people get a really wrong idea about when I say um, my singing voice may be gone. You know, here it's just simply a statement of fact, but people hear it and then they layer all sorts of emotional stuff over it that I must be feeling when really just simply I'm not, <laughs> okay? I'm in what most people would term a constant state of meditation. I'm a state of fact, but there's no emotional content to it. As you know, again, people think that I must be feeling loss, I must be feeling um, desperate or something. I don't know, you know, what all they're thinking that I'm feeling, but it's simply not there. It's a statement of fact. The voice may not come back. Okay. Um, yes, there was enjoyment in singing, but. Um, You know, how can I explain it? For here, it's like people will ask me sometimes, aren't you excited about this or excited about that? No, you don't have that any longer because there's no more anticipation of something. Um, it's either here or it's not here. You're fully in the moment, okay? So whatever is past is past. You're not mourning its loss. You're not, you know, you don't dwell in the past. You're here in now. And at this point, like I said, it's gone. And it may not return. And if it doesn't, that's fine. You know, life goes on. I'm not sitting here thinking, oh, poor is me, whoa, whoa. I'm just stating fact. Now, maybe there's another singer out there and this could aid them. If you are a singer and you are going in for surgery, know that your anesthesiologist could cause uh, massive damage to your singing apparatus. So just be informed of that and then you can take appropriate measures. Talk to them and let them know you're a singer and you need a smaller intubation tube that they need to be careful in giving you the anesthesia and et cetera because of that. See, if I would have known that going in, I could have addressed that. But the anesthesiologist knew nothing about my singing background or anything. So, and since I didn't know anything about it, it was not addressed. So uh, am I saying, oh my God, what's the purpose and what's this and what's that? No. <laughs> no, you know, whatever happens, happens, and you go with the flow of it. Now, it may come back, it may not, okay? Um, that's a simple statement, then that's all it is. But please don't layer all these emotions over it that I must be feeling, you know, because really, it's not there. You know, I don't get off here and go boo-hoo-hoo. Okay, but I have to laugh at the sound of my voice now, you know, for, for me, it's, it's rather, it, in a way, it's a bit humorous, you know, but again, um, where my mental framework is, is in a different level and layer of consciousness, so I don't have those types of um, knee-jerk reactions to it. I'm just saying in two weeks, three weeks, it should come back. If it's not back, then there is a difficulty, a problem with it. And according to what I've looked at, it may never come back. That's a reality, okay? So I deal in reality. I don't deal in um, fantasy or, you know, well, I do do it. <laughs> I take that back. <laughs> This is a bit of fantasy, okay? Uh, no, really, my hair grows pink. <laughs> like Edna, Dame Edna, her, her hair was naturally lavender. Mine's naturally pink today, so anyway. <laughs>
<laughs> but you know what I mean. You know, uh, really, my world is based on reality. Uh, what's here as it's here. And what is the past is the past. It has, you know, that's over, done, etc. Now, I'm where I'm at now. What's going to happen in the future? I don't project into that. I'm saying in this moment, this is what's taking place. Okay? And so, what the universe has planned, I can't say. I signed up for this journey. I bought this ticket, and I'm here. So whatever it is that um, is coming down the pike, it's fine, okay? It's not a lesson I have to learn. It's nothing like that. Sometimes, you know, when you go through, there are shifts. Maybe this is a shift that happens that can aid somebody else, okay? To not get so tied up with the feeling of, oh my God, I've got loss, I've got loss. Well, when one door closes, something else opens, okay? So uh, don't take it as some big um, tragedy of life. You know, maybe that's why I was doing so much music just before I went in for the thyroidectomy, okay? I did quite a bit of singing just before I went in for the thyroidectomy. Maybe that's why because this was coming, and perhaps that's the end of that. Perhaps something will come back. At this point, I don't know. I'm just stating what is here, as it's here. And um, I know people want to think it's comforting to say, well, you know, hold on hope, we're praying for you, maybe it'll come back, and you know, that people need to hold on to some sort of a thing. I don't need to hold on to some sort of a thing, okay? It's, it's not that way here. You know, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt what God is, what God isn't, okay? And the fullness of whatever is here is the way it is, and it's fine the way it is, Okay, so it's a totally uh, different thing. I don't have to um, pray and say, please let it come back. And, you know, but, you know, when you have to do that, you're coming from what? Loss, lack. You're coming from a feeling of loss and lack. I don't feel lack, even though at the present, you know, and possibly the rest of this existence on this plane of existence, there may be no singing. When I get to the other side, I will be singing, you know, as much as I want. I know that beyond a shadow of a doubt. So whatever is here, you know, is here. And so, again, I'm not uh, boo-hooing, I'm not feeling loss, I'm not feeling lack, I'm not feeling like, oh my God, I need to hold on to some hope, <laughs> you know? <laughs> no, when you're having to try to hold on to some sort of a hope, then you're feeling lack. Then you're not fulfilled in yourself. Then you feel that something is missing that I need to have in order to feel uh, good about myself that you know but when that goes and you don't have to have that then when you have something like this that happens a loss of my voice and perhaps my singing voice the rest of my time here okay it is what it is it's not the end of the world okay there are so many other things that one can do okay so I just wanted to put that out there because I think people are um, layering over emotions that aren't here and thinking that I must be so sad, I must be so traumatized, I must be so, you know, uh, but no, that's, that's not the way I'm feeling at all. Um, absolutely not, okay? Yes, singing was enjoyable, but there are many other things in life that are also enjoyable. And so it's all fine. It's all good. Things change. 
along the way. It's a natural part of life. So that's it. You just go with the flow of life and enjoy what you have while you have. And when it goes, okay, it goes. Not the end of the world. There's so much more coming in. Who knows what door's going to open next, okay? Now the door that opened just before I lost my singing was what? Starting to do more of this element of drag and, you know, supporting that community, etc. So really, I just shifted from one thing to another. That's all. Um, and I'm quite fine with that. So thank you for your concern, everyone. I really do appreciate it because I know it's coming from a loving heart. But I wanted to let you know I'm not in the suffering that you think I'm in. <laughs> okay? Just, I'm not. Um, and I wish people could be in my consciousness for one second and they would see that it's just not anywhere near what people are thinking that I'm going through, okay? So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you online.